Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're going to do a barn scene. You can see it here. I've got it kind of sketched out. I may have maybe some sunflowers here. It's going to have a fence down through here. I haven't made my mind up about the sunflowers. It, it might have some in it. I'm not sure. I just want to say thanks for watching the videos that I put out. And for anybody that subscribed or liked one of my videos, thank you so much. It really helps. Let's get started. I'm trying to put in, I'm going to go ahead and put in some background stuff. That's what I've been working there. I've been trying to get my collars right. This is just background trees off in the distance. I'm using a touch of black, a touch of green, and I'm making me a pile here. I even got a little blue in it, but I want it pale. I want it kind of pale. Just background stuff. I'm gonna probably have a big tree here anyways. So it's not gonna make too much of a difference. And there's a great big tree over here. And maybe one at this angle here. As I said, this is just background stuff. Little black, little green. Tap it in this white. I'll bring it all the way down. Just background stuff. But you gotta have it. <laughs> Won't look right if you don't have it. I'll probably just put some right in here. the same old brush and I'm just going to start right here. Let's see if I can wipe some of this off down here. If you ever see me do this before I'll put the I'll just take a regular brush. This is a filbert brush and I put the co lighter colors at the top because it shows distance. As I come down the darker the darker the collar will get as I'm coming down, I'm going to grab some ochre. And then I wind up mix, taking a one inch brush and mixing it all up together. Just get a little green started. green, grab some more ochre, just for good measures, more green, um, I'll take a little red, put down here at the bottom, red is a foreground color, a little Prussian blue, especially in the corners, and probably right in here. Now I'm going to take, take my, and I'm going to go over this again. Once I smear all this out, I'll go over this again. I don't know what it's got on it. Let's see what it's got on it before I stick it up here. Well, it's got some greenish colors on it. But I'm just going to go ahead and work up in here at the top where I get into them real dark colors at the bottom. Start at the top and work your way down. Just trying to be careful not to get too much in my barn there. Get around this tree the best I can. I can always get him a little bit later there. Yeah, you want nice varied collars. And this is why we do this. I don't want a solid green lawn. I want a mix of colors. Before I get into that real, I'm going to go ahead and get all this green before I get into this real dark stuff. 
because once you go down here it's too late to come back up so we'll go ahead and get all this down here at the bottom done and now when I go over with my fan brush I've already got a nice base base of collars they're very collars to go over I like doing it this way I think that looks better you know in my opinion everybody does things different there's a million ways to get to the to get to an object but um, the final outcome is what counts and I think the final outcome looks good I'll go ahead and throw some of this collar right in here since I got it on my brush. Start collar. Just fill this in with something. Gotta have something down here, don't it? See, that don't look too bad. Just fill it in with something. Stop in a few areas that I missed. Okay. All right. I went ahead and I put put some leaves on these trees. I'm gonna do the comma stroke leaves today, and I'm gonna take some yellow. That's just my first set of leaves. You've got to do a couple, I guess. So, and the sun should be coming down this direction. Need to, speaking of that, I need to make it a little darker now that I looked at it. And I'm going to start on the outside and work my way in. And I'm going to continue to wipe my brush off a little bit. Starting on the outside and working in. And then when I go to do my highlights, I'm going to start on the outside of that and make it nice and bright. Yellow and green is what we're using. Probably more yellow than green. You're not going to have to hit every single leaf because you want the darkness in there. Some yellow. See, we start on the outside because it's mixing. And I'm pulling it inward. If I start on the inside and just start randomly, it would just mix up with that darker paint and you wouldn't even be able to see anything probably. So we start on the outside and work in. See, it's still, it's still fairly dark, but I mean, I can see it. I'm hoping you can too. Now here I kind of have to start in the middle because I have no Good, good edge to start with, and that's okay because we're just throwing collars in. Lots of yellow. And start right here, I guess. Just throw some of that in. But we're just mixing up. This will be the midtone. That's what this is called that we're doing. This is the midtone color. Then I'll come back and put some real nice bright highlights. So, working inward. But be sure to leave your dark colors. Don't cover everything up. And that's probably good for that tree. I'm going to go ahead and do this tree, then I'll bring you back and I'll show you the highlight colors. All right, I got this tree worked on. I got my midtones in. Now I'm going to start doing the highlights. I wipe my brush off and I'm going to use pure yellow if I can get it. I say pure yellow and I just seen some green mix in with it. That's not good, is it? But we're going to start from the outside. Sun's coming down from the left and go in. 
And I'm going to make this just as bright as I can on the edge. And you have to continuously wipe your brush off. I'm probably going to get me some real nice clean yellow paint here in just a minute. It's a lot quicker to use the one inch brush and stomp it in, and I do a lot. Trust me, I do it. Because <laughs> it does save time. But sometimes, you know, you just want something a little different. These, the comma stroke trees, some people think those look better. I really just don't have no preference. One, one tree, as a matter of fact, I think the stomping, when you take the one inch brush and do it, sometimes looks better. Depends on what you're doing. Everybody has a different preference. And just it just doesn't make a difference really. I, I just change I change up and do different stuff just because it is different. And I'm not doing the same stuff over and over and over. I don't want people to say this guy does things over and over and over. Same stuff. Now, I may paint multiple barns or mountains or whatever, but I try to make them a little different each time. Just so people don't get bored. People get bored easy, I do too. Get tired of seeing the same stuff over and over and over. So that's why I do do these comma stroke trees sometimes. Nothing more than just it's different. But this is what you do. This is this is my third color. This is my highlight. Starting on the outside sure it's defined pretty well. I'm just pulling it inward. I think that looks okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks fine. A little bit down in here. Just throw some in here and there. Okay, now I'm going to do the next tree. All right, what I've done is I put some fence post in here. I'm going to put a few more right here. I'm just taking black and brown, just kind of mixing it together. And we're going to drop a few in right here. Paint is a little bit dry. This painting's been sitting around a day or two. I usually don't do them all at the same, do them all at once, because I can't get to them sometimes. There's two. Let's put one leaning right here. Always good to have a leaner. And one more. I've made a change or two. I've made, I put a tree right here. I'm going to put something right in here too. This is too bare. I put a tree here, got some shadows down. I made my fence post a little bigger right here. I got a, I got some kind of other plan I want to do with these. So I needed them to be a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to highlight this tree a little bit. Sun's coming down this way. So we want our highlights to be nice and bright on this side here. And that's what we're going to do with it. Now on the fence post, I actually thought about maybe putting some, some vines with some flowers on it. Just on a couple of them. 
that's what I was going to do. I, and plus, they just needed to be bigger. They just weren't quite big enough. But I'm taking this real bright cad yellow light and sticking it on the highlight side. I really like this color. I know you've probably heard me say that before. But I mean it. I really like it. <laughs> cad yellow light. Man, you just can't. It's just a wonderful color. Just got that, just the right amount of texture, and I don't know, I just really like it. It just really stands out. But I'm just highlighting this, and then I'm gonna get the tree, put some more shadows or something on this barn. The barn's a little plain looking. You know, you can see these things, like this is the next day. I come back, I look at it with a set of fresh eyes, and you can see, you can see then what you need to do. Sometimes you just got to step back, take a break, maybe wait till the next day and take another look at it. Then you can see all kinds of stuff that you need to do. My brush has a little yellow in it, but I think it might be okay. I'm going to highlight this tree real quick. I'm going to run some white down this side right here. Probably take some brown, sienna, maybe a little ochre. Just kind of mix it together a little bit. This tree's not real, not real wide down in here, so I can't put a whole lot of stuff. Actually, since I'm at it, I could go ahead and use the same color on these fence posts. Since I'm, since I've already got it on my brush. Give it a rough look. Brown, burnt sienna, and ochre. I have to use this down here anyway on these. I might as well do it while I'm at it. This is, I made these quite a bit, especially this one's really big. Maybe a little more ochre in this one. Wipe my brush off and try it again. Maybe a little more ochre in this one. I can see a little better now. There we go. Actually, maybe some and all of them, now that I'm staring at it. And I always twist my brush when, I, when I'm coming down. You can, it gives it more of a rough look. And these are old fence posts. You want a rough look. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, since I'm at it, I'll go ahead and throw some highlight on these. I'm going to set this palette down if you don't mind because i got to wipe my brush off. You pick up a lot of stuff on your brush and you got to wipe it off on occasion. And plus I can steady myself a little better. Not that I'm necessarily unsteady, but when you're holding something in your hand and you're trying to be real careful, it makes it kind of hard because one little slip and I can, I can boo-boo run this white over into my grass or something. We could always fix it, but why do that if you don't have to? Run it down the side. And then, of course, I'll take Prussian blue and I'll put on the back side. Because it's a good shade color. And while I've got this in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and hit this tree a little bit more. This tree needs a see how much better that looks. It needs a, as I said, you come back the next day and look at stuff, and you can see a lot that needs to be done. You can see what you missed. 
see what needs to be touched up when you have a set of fresh eyes on it. And I'll probably come over here. I think I'm going to do the same right here. This definitely needs it here. I don't know how I missed that one. Bring it on down. There's quite a few areas here. This could all be hit again right here. Every bit of this. But it looks so much better when you when you hit it. Hope I'm my arm's not in your way. I sound about the only way I can get over here to this right now. Yeah, I think it's looking a little better right there. Come up here. Do the same. Rub it out a little bit. Right here. up in here you don't have to get every little spot but just get what you get what you think you need to get and just rub it out a little bit so it's not a straight line I think that looks much better yeah, let me get a little Prussian blue on my brush. A little Prussian blue. Run it down the back side. I've still got quite a bit of white in my brush, I can see. Run it down the back. Get this one here. One more left of the fence. All the way down. And you just kind of rub this out a little bit too. Kind of mix it with the other paint that's on there. Because you don't want straight lines. Don't want any straight lines. Uh, I might have to even take a smaller brush on if I have one back here or not. Let's see this one. This one might be a little smaller. Get the back of this tree. There. Small details, right? It all counts. All right. I started on my flowers right here. Now what I've done is I just put some green, some yellow, and then I took alizarin crimson. I, I left one alone so you could see it. And I put crimson, crimson, you know, and did it like that. And now I'm taking cad red light and I'm gonna put on top of it. I'm just, I'm just barely pushing it because this is a very bright color. But I put the crimson down first. And I have no idea what kind of flowers they are, but I think they look good. So, <laughs> And I'm going to put some blue bushes in over here. And I'm going to use, I'll just put some black down right there. I got some phthalo blue that I got right here. I'm probably going to have to mix it with a little bit of white, I would say. Let's see how, oh yeah, you can't even see that. Let's put a little, mix it with a little white. And you should be able to see this. Oh yeah, I'm just kind of stomping it in a little bit. Let me wipe my brush off. You always got to have your paper towels handy. So I have greens, I have blues, reds. So pictures coming together. Lots of different colors. I'm gonna have to pull this painting out a little bit and get to the bottom. A little more. Yeah. 
And let me see, maybe I could highlight it with just some pure white. Don't want to overdo it though. I don't know if it don't look too bad, I guess. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, it looks fine right there, I think. Well, it looks like it's a wrap. I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Hey, I just want to say thank you to anybody that watches my videos, likes them, subscribes. Man, I really appreciate it. I really do. It helps support our channel. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.